Would you believe us if we said that batteries might last indefinitely? Diamond nuclear batteries open up an entirely new universe of potential. A lifetime is defined as 28,000 years. The world's wealthiest individual, Don Musk, intends to use this technology in his EV manufacturing company. Welcome back to another exciting video from Tech News Expert. Today's video is about Elon Musk's insane nuclear diamond battery. Before we start the video, please like, subscribe, and press the bell icon. Tesla turned nuclear waste into an energy source that could last 28,000 years. It has a sci-fi cinematic soundtrack. In actuality, it is true. A tech company in California by the name of Nano Diamond Battery, GDB, has been working on developing these nuclear diamond batteries for several years. They might have finished the job now. The business claims to start selling the battery to its commercial partners within two years and launch a consumer version that can power smartphones for more than 10 years or just under 28,000 years. You can't complain since you won't need to power your phone for the next 10 years. The diamond battery's ability to power spacecraft as they travel millions of miles through the universe will also significantly advance space rocket technology. Future satellites could be powered by these batteries, providing them with the additional power they need to deorbit until the end of their lives or power long-duration space. Expedition A nuclear battery, known as a radioactive thermoelectric generator, or RTG battery, powers NASA spacecraft and SpaceX, which hopes to transport people and cargo to Mars by 2020. My lawn will noticeably benefit significantly from it. Implantable medical devices need to operate for an extended period without needing to be recharged. It should also be as compact and light as feasible. Throughout the 1970s, beta voltaic cells, which are nuclear batteries, were commonly used in IMD. However, the possibility of radiation risk prompted a transition to lithium ion batteries. In the 1980s, the application of beta voltaic cells was examined. The lithium ion cells should be replaced with diamond batteries. Other EV brands and electric cars range just about 500 miles with lithium ion batteries, created by Tesla and used, particularly in light of recent developments in nuclear batteries. However, atomic diamond batteries will enable your car to drive for several days without a charge. However, because the storm is still forming, the manufacturer of nano diamond batteries is required to make the price of the battery and the intricate technology used to create it public. The process uses radioactive isotopes taken from nuclear waste and layers of micro diamonds piled into a storm. Because they can produce energy for a long time, diamond batteries are helpful for medical devices like pacemakers and hearing aids worn for an extended time inside the body. Batteries, radioactive waste panels, and diamond layers are added to the system to power machines that consistently require a small quantity of electricity generated over long periods. Given that nuclear energy can cause destruction, such as when it is used to create atomic weapons, physicists admire the battery's ability to convert nuclear power, which is thought of as a destructive element, into something positive. This needs to be understood, as we already have. It is safe because it is constructed of a solid material that stops unauthorized individuals from accessing the power cells. A polycrystal coating that is highly dense and efficient at containing radiation is another characteristic of this item. It has a mass that is 12 times that of steel. These batteries are, therefore, very safe. Early test results suggest that these new batteries release even less radioactivity than before, despite some radioactivity among the atoms we know, even less than what our bodies do. The NDB system uses diamonds and excellent electrical conductors and is a great target for electronic devices. They transmit heat four times more quickly than steel does. Scientists use the process of chemical vapor deposition to create these tiny gems. A process in which gases heated to extremely high temperatures is used to cause carbon to crystallize on a substrate material. NDB acknowledges that this technique is currently expensive due to a cost bottleneck. These diamond battery cells can power some of the most energy-consuming gadgets presently in use on Earth, including tablets and smartphones with liquid crystal displays, if enough of them are coupled. Conversely, GDB. It intends to launch its first range of smartwatches as a commercial product in 2022. If so, one watch and one battery could be owned and handed down through the generations without ever being replaced. Consider it a legacy. The storm, made of two distinct types of nanodiamond, generates its charge rather than storing energy from external sources, almost resulting in a collision. Imagine it applied to moving objects like cars or trucks. Since the diamond battery converts beta radiation into electricity rather than light, it is a beta voltaic device comparable to photovoltaic solar cells. It is produced by chemical vapor deposition, which uses C14 methane and hydrogen plasma to form diamond fumes at high temperatures. The nuclear waste NDB wants to use to make its batteries is reactor parts that have developed radioactivity. An atomic generator contains much contamination from nuclear plant fuel rods, even though it is not high-grade atomic waste. The firm thinks its batteries will be even more cost-effective than current batteries like lithium-ion once mass-produced. 
Nuclear waste, a byproduct of creating nuclear energy, is currently in large quantities in nuclear power plants. This trash is challenging to remove. Therefore, until now, the only choice has been to bury it beneath a layer of steel and concrete. These nuclear power plants are anticipated to compensate nuclear diamond battery companies for using atomic waste in their batteries. He worked very hard on his research for the nuclear power sector. He works for Medic Limited as the technical head. This spin-off business specializes in identifying and mapping radioactive materials subjected to intense pressure deep inside the Earth's crust in the environmental, urban, and industrial sectors. Natural diamonds, made entirely of carbon, require tens of thousands to millions of years to form. There is no toxic carbon found. These artificial diamonds are created with a high-pressure machine and a tremendous natural carbon supply, such as graphite, but they are not radioactive for use. The radioactive C14 isotopes, known to be the radioactive waste with the most significant volume, are used to make artificial diamonds in diamond batteries. Similar to how radio works, a diamond cell does too. The inverted electrode generators used in space missions the diamond batter's direct energy conversion method creates an electrical charge by using a silicon diode and C14 as a radial isotope. These diamond cells don't generate as much power compared to other options, but because of their extended L, they might contribute significantly to creating future devices. By encasing radioactive materials inside a diamond, clean energy can be generated potentially solving the long-term core problem of managing nuclear waste into a battery powered by atomic energy for an extended period. One can create an artificial diamond for much less money than it would take to clean up nuclear debris and abandoned atomic fields. Despite attempts, the United States is expected to only have enough radioactive fuel by 2023 to power 2.5 nuclear battery modules annually. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content.